Today's solar systems only convert about 21% of the solar energy they absorb into electricity, wasting almost 80% of the sun's energy. Not to mention, throughout the day as panels heat up, performance drops. Hi, my name is Alyssa Dugar, Outreach Manager at Icarus RT Incorporated, where we take back the power of the sun. Our award-winning proprietary technology breaks through the current efficiency limit, increasing power output of PV arrays, adding significant solar thermal production, and lowering the overall cost per kilowatt hour. We aim to change the game by increasing the power output at a lower cost per kilowatt hour, enhancing the ROI of solar PV, particularly for commercial and large utility scale installations, while giving solar energy a higher value proposition than ever before. I'll let founder and CEO Mark Anderson tell you how our revolutionary Quartet Hybrid Solar Technology works. Hello, I'm Mark Anderson, founder and CEO of Icarus RT. Our hybrid system enables PV panels to produce at least 12% more power and generate hot water, all in the same footprint and at the same time. Quartet provides hot water on demand, even after sunset and hot water storage is clean, inexpensive, and it reduces the amount of lithium ion mined for current battery technologies. In fact, Quartet charges the thermal battery while improving PV output. Traditional PV battery systems consume the daytime PV output to charge. This fact alone really improves the value proposition for the end user by cutting the ROI in half. How? We developed a heat extractor to remove the heat from PV panels to improve power output and collect about 70% of the hot water that solar thermal panels do. Others have tried and failed to do this since the 1970s. We are very fortunate to work with the National Renewable Energy Lab, courtesy of the Shell Game Changer program, to study those long shelved projects and optimize our designs based on their challenges and new opportunities for us. For example, today we already use a nano coating to improve surface to water heat transfer and we're currently exploring using nano tubes to improve heat conduction in very thin plastics. We couldn't have done that a few years ago. We developed composite materials internally for the Icarus lightweight yet highly effective and low cost heat extractor and been able to 3D print these prototypes, an option that we only have today to allow us to test many variations of each heat extractor. Finally, we're working with the Keymorse company to test new, very low global warming footprint and safe organic fluids, which were not even on the market just a few years ago. Now our team is led by me, and I've worked in the power industry for 40 years. CTO Ron Pitt's been in the industry for 30 years. And both of us are entrepreneurs with prior experience as CEOs in engineering companies, and both have patents issued and or pending. Jay Franklin, our head of business development, took his company from $2 million to $20 million. And I can't take the time to tell you about the entire team. Suffice it to say that each person has been carefully hand-selected and time-proven. Each member is talented and passionate about Icarus and the industry. In addition, our advisory board, as shown, is comprised of industry and startup experts. Now, we've developed great relationships with corporate and industry sponsors. Our most laudable awards include the 2019 CalSeed Concept Award, the 2020 Shell Game Changer, powered by Enrel, the 2020 Berkeley Haas Clean Tech to Market program, and the 2021 Cal Testbed program. Some of these provide non-dilutive funds, others in-kind services. All provide mentorship, sponsorship, and strategic partnerships, which we've already reaped great rewards from, like working closely with NREL. And we worked closely with University of California at San Diego and San Diego State University engineering teams and the National Renewable Energy Lab through the Shell Game Changer program. And we built our solar lab at the Anglekirk Structural Engineering Facility of UCSD. There, we worked for three and a half years modifying and testing many different versions of our heat extractor. At the same time, we were working on and developing a smart control system to manage the cooling and the heat absorbed by controlling the flow rate based on temperatures, power outputs, power demand, the time of day, utility peak rates, and specifically that particular customer's unique situation and many other factors all in real time. Today, I'm proud to say that our system is ready for commercialization. The lightweight, low cost, high-tech composite heat extractor 
is in prototype production today. These units will be tested beginning October 1st and the results will be analyzed by Icarus and NREL for final fine tuning and optimization before full production. Icarus forecasts installations totaling 5,000 kilowatt of new and retrofit solar installations in the first year of full production, beginning in 2022. In years two and three, we project reaching 24,000 kilowatt installed in California alone. By 2024 and 2025, we will scale to 108,000 kilowatt and 480,000 kilowatt installed throughout the U.S. and global markets. These assumptions are based on conservative projections of deployment as compared to the large value proposition of increased efficiency using the Icarus technology. When we first met the folks at Halliburton Labs, they told us that program participants could have access to all of their 40,000 employees, except their accounting and legal, and ha have access to their customers, their supply chain, and the distribution network. I kept calling back and asking, does that mean engineering and manufacturing? Because we're fine tuning our final prototype right now and getting ready for production. You guys probably have some great expertise with composite material. They answered yes. Or I'd call and ask, did that include sales and marketing? I think you said sales and marketing because we're commercially launching our first two commercial projects this fall and ready to start selling and installing more projects throughout next year and beyond. You did say we could contact your customers as well, right? And they confirmed again. Yes, we could contact Halliburton's customers. It was like I was trying to stump them but couldn't. Now, my team has been fortunate to get to know the team here at Halliburton Labs over these last few months. From that first call with Greg and Karen to Diane and Farouk and Scott and Dale, they all took the time to get to know each one of us. And we found out that we liked them and we communicate well with them. And we feel that we can work well with them as well. So we just hope that you give us that chance to work with them. I just went through a long partial, partial litany of the ways that we could work closely with Halliburton and succeed. And I assure you that we'll take every step we can to maximize that opportunity.